Okay, so now for sixth episode of this critical let's play of Modern Warfare. Um, in our last episode, we saw uh, the SAS troops, Price and Soap, and all of them finally find Al Assad. And instead of bringing him in alive, Price just killed him because he found out who he was working for. And I guess that was meant to symbolize that Al Assad is actually a nobody and um, the guy he's working for, whose name is totally just lost my mind, Zekayev, whatever, is actually the big person, the actually important one. Uh, continuing my Final Fantasy VII metaphor, I seem to have kept using for some reason. We just found President Shinra dead and realized he was never actually that big of a bad guy in the first place, but the person he was working for is much more terrifying. Um, also, before I continue with this episode, I was looking back at the previous episode, and I don't know if I did necessarily glitch out when I went to the wrong house first, or if just whatever house you do last is the house that al is in. Um, I'll be curious to see when we get to the level after this if we are in the barn at the end of that area or if we're back in the town because um, normally you are in a barn because that's normally where you find al um, but I guess we'll see um, but today we're doing the mission all gillied up um, which is 15 years earlier and as it says down there in the corner we are Lieutenant Price um, so you start with this kind of scene where you can't see anything and then suddenly this character starts moving in front of you which was almost entirely invisible to you um, a second ago which is it's really great introduction to this level this infiltration level and to Captain McMillan um, to kind of show you just how stealthy they are I guess how easily they hide in their ghillie suits because um, he is there and you can't move the camera you have to be looking in that direction when he stands up um, but until he moves you just don't see him at all and as he just said then, we're impossible to see in our ghillie suits. So it kind of makes you realize that by making you get surprised. <laughs> Good start, Brendan. I'm just gonna let myself get killed. That was a really good start. Um, so this mission is really interesting, and I think a lot of people really like it. Um, but because a lot of people really like it, almost every mission in Modern Warfare 3 is essentially a remodeling of this mission. Um, and you really have, so you're pretty much constantly just following orders every step you take in this. Um, which means I'll probably screw up a lot because I'll probably be distracted talking and not actually listen to what McMillan's telling me to do. He's down. Good night. Move. So you're following orders, you're just following McMillan, he's a captain, you're just a lowly lieutenant. Um, and you're trying to infiltrate um, Chernobyl to assassinate Zakayev during a um, an arm steel. So here we kind of see modern warfare's uh, commitment to you always being a character being told what to do, where this entire mission is just being two steps behind this guy. And you get these tiny missions, these tiny kind of moments of you making choices of what you do. But even those, even those choices, you know, are given to you by Macmillan. The entire thing is, he's telling you where to go and you go there. Which is a really nice, I think, quite pleasurable way to do a stealth game, a stealth mission. In a game like Metal Gear Solid or whatever, it's all contingent on you figuring out what to do. Um, here, you get to feel really stealthy and elite um, by being told what to do. Um, it's much easier. Um, it's just kind of nice. Let's move up for a better view. It's nice to let someone else take responsibility. It's just kind of be a part of it, which again is that theme we're going to keep coming back to. Oh, 
Oh my god. We've been spotted. Take him out. I don't want to um I don't want to shoot my way out of it when I fuck up. I would rather um I'd rather just die and do it properly. We've got a look out in the church tower and the patrol coming from the north. This is also I think maybe it's a really nice looking level. Um Eastern Europe I guess kind of well not Eastern Europe, sorry. Chernobyl and that just kind of has a mystique about it as this kind of nuclear wasteland. And just this kind of moment of people's lives just left there half complete. Um, and you see that in like Daisy and Stalker and those games as well. I'm just going to take everyone out to be safe. Um, so you have that same kind of, I guess, weird kind of exoticization here. Like, you know, especially later when you're moving through all these apartment blocks and stuff. I like that you can just pick up a Stinger Missile Launcher. There's absolutely no reason you would need one. But the game doesn't stop you from dropping your silent weapon and taking one if you so desire. You hear that? Enemy helicopter, get down! Stay in the shadows. It's just a really good, powerful mission of... Um, Let's go feeling sneaky essentially and then it has the final act everything blows up and you machine gun everyone like every other mission of course um, so right so this mission kind of becomes the standard mold by the time you get to modern wall about closely following one person from cinematic moment to cinematic moment um, in some of these moments it is kind of recreated almost explicitly referencing them um, but again, we'll see that by the time we get to Modern Warfare 3. Easy, there's too many of them. Here there's a line of men coming towards us. Uh, I usually mess this up, so let's see how I go. A good use of tense music for what is a quite tense part. Oh no, oh no. I have to go really slowly. And they all kind of zigzag a little bit, like they don't go in perfectly straight lines. I really like the long grass as well, like it's all low textured resolution or whatever, but it's kind of nice just being in the grass, not just on it. Hidden in plain sight and all that, it does a good job of it. Okay, let's move. Nice and slow. Oh, one of them just turned around. <laughs> Melon, where did he go? Come on, dude. Follow me. Looks like they've already eliminated the men they couldn't buy out. Let's move up for a better view. So they're disposing bodies of men they couldn't buy out? I don't know what that means. Again, it's always kind of hard to tell what all the different sides are.
think I can shoot him. What? Okay, I guess not. Okay, that wasn't what I was meant to do there. Maybe I was meant to take out the ones in the water first. I'll just follow him. Let's see what happens. I do love just how much he does just disappear. Um, you know, no kind of special effects, he just simply does the textures of his model just disappear into the textures of the grass quite organically. I quite like that. So quite a different pace um, from the mission so far, very slow, on your belly. But also with these kind of more tense spikes in the action as well, I guess, of, um, you know, prefer having to creep through the marching parade. Um, and then just as we get through all these um, freight all these cargo freights as well. There'll be a different one. There'll be another high action moment, which I really quite like. Stay low. He's mine. Oi, Susie. That's how it's done. Let's go. Long range elbow to the face, I guess. <laughs> I like that you actually hear his voice out loud as opposed to a near here headset when he distracts him. So now we have another nice kind of ridiculous action movie kind of bit. You have to do exactly what he says. Um, it's really quite tense, even though you know you're safe as long as you do what you're told. Like you're just right in the middle of his army, um, with people all around you. And of course again the music kind of becomes more tense. I had a glitch out once, one of the people were facing the wrong way and saw me the moment we came out. Um, and of course they still react to you as they would in any other scene if they actually see you. Um, I died like 10 times and then I finally kind of managed to get him with a pistol the second we came out before he could alert anyone. And I felt nicely dynamic simply because the game had glitched out. I was also playing on hard. <laughs> I like how these cars just keep pulling up as the parade gets bigger, the convention gets bigger and bigger. It gives us more and more places to, to hide behind. And there's really just people everywhere. Like there's always stuff happening all around you. Patience. Don't do anything stupid. 
again, it's that kind of sense of being right in the middle of a much larger scene. Stand by. Stand by. Go. I really quite quite finely offering of the music goes quiet again when you're waiting. Then the second he says go, the drums kick in again. So it's that moment to moment like because thanks to the games like super awful linearity but it can really just kind of tailor the music and the tone from moment from moment to moment so it knows exactly where you'll be Area clear. and they do that quite well so now we start moving through these apartment blocks of Chernobyl um, which I really quite like they're just kind of quite eerie We're not there yet. There's any kind of environment, AAA games know how to do well. It's depressing nuclear concrete wastelands. Thousand people used to live in the city. Now it's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. You know the characters commenting on the spectacle of it, even as as the players are meant to be amazed by it. There's comparison photos you could probably find online somewhere of buildings like this compared to their real life counterparts. Um, you know, of course, mostly as part of pre release kind of brochures and stuff to show how much realism is put into the game. Um, but it is actually quite impressive how closely they've made it. Well, some of these buildings, like this courtyard and stuff. Not that it actually matters, but it's interesting. We should be able to observe the exchange from the top floor up there. Let's move. So this whole mission so far, we've been trying to get to um, this hotel to be ready for us, um, or to assassinate Zakaev. I hope I'm saying his name right. They haven't said it again for me to remember. So lots of time has passed. Is that? loading screen shows. I don't think you needed me to tell you that. 